Hi guys, I was doing an electronics design and I need to make a measurement of the internal resistance of the system. In this case, I cannot use the regular multimeter. I need to make a high resistance test, but also I need to qualify my system for the voltage, high voltage jumping on it. So in this case, I'm going to use the Unit T500 series isolation tester. This kind of tester is special for this kind of test. There are several models on it. The UT501, the UT502, and the serial A of them. UT501A, UT502A. Nowadays, it's easier to find in the market the A model, and it's the model that I will recommend to most of you. This kind of model has a continuity test, the normal one, low resistance, and the high test for high resistance, a mega ohmimeter. The reason I recommend it is because most of you are working in repairing and testing, and you need to make sure first you have uh, the, electron, the electronics pad to your contact before making the measurement of the mega ohms. In my case, because I'm designing, I don't have to make a test if it is working. I have to make the test in my conditions. So for me, it was better to get the 500 to without the A series. It's important, guys, always to use the manual to check the specifications. As I said, for me, it's important to make a measurement of voltage and to make the measurement of the high resistance. There is a comparison table in the A models that you can check online. And also, there are characteristics that you need, that probably I need, or somebody else need different than each other. In this case, for me it was important the high voltage because I do not make measurements more than 240 in this specific workbench. So for me it's good to have a dedicated voltimeter for voltage higher than 240. Now, let's jump to the test. Here inside, I do the voltage reading. One thousand volts DC or seven hundred fifty AC. Let's remember the model A doesn't have the DC voltage reading. Here outside is where I do the mega ohmimeter test with the high voltage. The the multimeter will generate. The model 501 will generate until 1000 volts for the mega ohmimeter test. The model 502 will generate until 2.5 thousand volts for the mega ohmimeter test. Guys, with that voltage, the electricity will jump between the PCB tracks. So be careful the kind of multimeter you need and the kind of test you are doing. Maybe you don't need to make the high voltage test. Remember that and keep it on mind. This multimeter has 10 mega ohms as internal resistance and it can make readings until 1000 volts. So I can apply here the 2000 and a half. Other ways I will damage the multimeter. I am in one thousand volts. And now I will punch test. Yeah. 
The reading says the multimeter has 9.9 mega ohms and the voltage test right now is 998 volts. One of the good things about the UT502A that I don't have is the double reading display. As I said, I can apply 2.5 thousand volts in the multimeter because I will make damage on it. But we can make a test with that voltage to see what happened in a PCB. Ready for the test. 2500 volts and test. Can you watch the arc? In the moment in the test, the mega ohmimeter gives a measurement out of range. As to watch, there is a voltage jump in the PCB. For my design, I need to make a measurement of the resistance, but also I need to make a measurement of that voltage jumping to find out if I make the tracks in the enough distance in my design. Two point and a half kilovolts is enough to me for the test. There are other models of this kind of a multimeter even to 5 kilovolts but that's an exaggeration. I don't need it. And also it's a voltage close to the ESD test. So for me 2.5 kilovolts is enough to make the test of my tracks in the PCB in the specification I want. Does anybody need a test equipment like this? It depends. If you are working in repairing, sometimes you will need to work with something like that if you are repairing test equipment. Why? Because we have very high impedance on it. Not in the case of radio frequency and not in the case of audio. But if you are designing, yes, you need a test equipment like that. So that was the video about this is other kind of test equipment not everybody have but many of us should have thanks guys by watching the video do not forget to like to share and to subscribe